Welcome or welcome back to another video of me recreating every granny square from this granny square source book. Today's video is on the diamond square granny square, which I remember thinking it looked an awful lot like the classic granny square from earlier, this one right here. But now that I'm looking at them more closely, this one is row per row a different color and it's like a square shape, whereas this one has a bit of a diamond shape right here. So maybe I'll end up liking it more. We'll see. My cat is also here today. <laughs> Maybe I can show you off to all the people on the internet. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Oh, and I wanted to do something different than the multicolored effect that's going on here, so I have my colors right here. <laughs> Oh shoot, I was supposed to chain two. I chained only one. Should I start over? I'm at the beginning. Might as well start over. It's not like it's gonna take a long time to fix this mistake. Okay, I wanna start, whoops. I wanna start in the chains and now I'm at like the beginning of a, let's just call it like a pack of stitches. So I'm just gonna slip stitch into the next chain and that way I can do my neat little trick of changing colors. Okay, so I slipped the second color. I'm gonna take the tail of that second color, pull it through, and then work with the actual project and pull it through. Although, why am I doing this? I'm not gonna need this color for like a really long time, so I might as well cut it off. Okay, never mind. <laughs> so that's my first row, and I'm gonna reuse this color for the last row too, just for fun. Now I can take the color. Great, that's my second color done. And it's looking good. It says it's a beginner project, and I believe it. This is going very well. Good, 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 good. <laughs> And voila. This is the thing I don't like though. All these ends I'm gonna have to weave in. That's not great, but that's future Emily's problem. Present Emily can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's see. This one is the same again. Again! again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with this one now, which is a nice, very fun mix of colors. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm starting with a magic ring. I personally enjoy sourcing my yarn from the thrift store and this was a very exciting find because I like to google lens what I find to see if it's like rare or anything like that and the internet told me that this color was worth like a lot of money so that was very exciting when I found it but I only had like one skein and well I used it for projects and this is how much I have left. Now it's going into this project. <laughs> how fun is this? I know there's something special going on with one of the colors so it's I think it's this orange one that's going to be like different. It says to join in any chain space. That's easy enough. Okay, so these are back loop only, so I have to be careful. Join your E in any chain space. Make your first stitch a standing stitch. All stitches in this round are made in blow. So does that include this first one? Okay, I'm just going to pretend like no, because I don't know. <laughs> I think this works and I uh, mistakenly have this little tail hanging out in the front but it's okay I can easily pull it in the back later so I'm just gonna keep going pretend like everything is fine <laughs> oh crap I'm supposed to chain one in between here wait 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 
okay, you know what? I'm not sure enough. I'm just going to start over and be more sure this time around. Yeah, okay. Let's start again. That was just a practice round. It didn't count. It was just me figuring it out. So now the corners used to be here, and now they've shifted to here. Okay, I think that works. <laughs> Is it just me, or are we kind of losing the diamond shape because of my color choice? Eh, that's okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> oh, so there's going to be treble crochets in the corners, I see. Interesting. Let's get to it. So if I'm not mistaken, we're starting in the new corners. Yes, that seems right. Okay, I think that works. Good. Why am I doubting myself so much? I'm like, good, maybe, I think, I don't know, let's see. <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna say perfect. I am doing good. I'm doing good. Where is that accent coming from? I don't know. So now I've got a bunch of half double crochets. I don't know what color to go with, because I'm gonna finish with this one. You tell me, what color would you have picked, knowing that this would be the border color? and that it's next to the yellow. Because I'm, I'm gonna do something, but I have no clue if it's the same choice you would have made. And I'm curious, because oftentimes I feel like my color choices are a little funny. I kind of want to go with this one again. Maybe it's the wrong choice. Eh, whatever. I do whatever I want, and I want to pick this one. Okay, this square is stupid easy. I mean, I made mistakes, mistakes that didn't count. Like this, this is a very easy square. Ooh, good thing I'm looking, like I wasn't really paying attention, but I looked and I have four double crochets for the border and three in the corners. See, with experience comes that kind of recognition of things that are happening in the pattern that I wouldn't have recognized otherwise and I would have made a mistake and I would have felt bad and I would have started, started over. But not today. <laughs> today, I noticed. Done. <laughs> oh, very big. It was a 112 stitch square, so that would make sense, but still very big. <laughs> what do we think? I really like it. It has a nice twist to like a classic square by adding like that uh, the, 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 the diamond shape in the middle. <laughs> diamond. There you go. I'm enjoying it. It's a nice square. Voila! <laughs> I'm not sure about this color here, after all. No, it's fine. Is, is it? 
I'm trying to look at it like blur, blurrily. Can you say that? In a blurry fashion <laughs> to see if it's looking good or looking weird. I think it looks good. We're going to say it looks good. All right. Well, I recommend making this square. It's nice. It's classic. It's simple. It has a little bit of a twist to it. You can add as many colors as you want. You could actually make the diamond a color and then make the exterior another color. That would be fun. I could have done that. I should have done that maybe. Eh, whatever. I like it. Okay. I recommend this. Uh, <laughs> it did take a little bit of time, but it was so simple. And I mean, it did take longer because it's also bigger. So it's not because I started over constantly and make so many mistakes. Pretty neat. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.